Season two, man, we got something different for y'all. First producer on here, you know what I'm saying? On the couch. Yeah. Getty 808, man. How you feeling? I'm good, man. I'm blessed, man. Blessed, bro. For sure, for sure. Where you from? Let everybody know where you from. East Side, Detroit, Harper and Connors, man. Smallville. Oh, yeah, you from Harper and Connors? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so how long you been producing? Like, in, you know what I'm saying? Get into that a little bit. For like 10 years, bro. About 10 years. It only been 10? It only been 10. Back then, I was like mainly engineering. Okay, right. You know what I'm saying? Especially when we first met. Right. Uh, I was engineering. I was still producing, but tracks weren't out here. Like, you know, niggas knew I did the shit, but not like I was engineering. My engineering, I was fucking shit up. Okay, yeah, because I, uh, remember you was, you was, you know, in the circle with Al Newton. Mm -hmm. you know them. Yeah, I started with Newton. How did that go? Like, how did you meet Newton? Man, I used to watch that nigga car. Oh, okay. I used to watch his car. The car wash that's attached to uh to the uh, all world building on Whittier. Right. It was a car wash next door to it. And I was watching the nigga car, man, and uh still making beats at home. And uh they came to get his keys one day and was like, Hey man, who beats you be playing? I used to play my beats while I was watching the cars and shit. Right. And I was like, shit, them my beats. And they was like, shit, you know it's a studio next door. I'm like, what? And I ain't never looked back. <laughs> yeah, because when I, I think met that you, was the last time I watched the car. Ever since then, I paid to get my shit washed. <laughs> right, I think when I met you, 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 you mixed one of, you mixed, how many songs you did? Was it just one or? What you talking about? One, one, me and you uh, first met. Remember, we? I don't know how I got in touch with you, but you like, I mixed. You used to get, you got signed to uh, Drama in them or something. Yeah. That's yeah, how I mixed you. And you mixed one of my songs, I forgot. Uh, oh, man. I, that I, was a long time ago. Damn. <laughs> when you was over here. Yeah. I came and dropped it off to you, you sent it back to me. Damn. Yeah. I don't remember long, that. That was a long time ago. Damn. <laughs> I remember I used to come up your crib, though. Yeah. Yeah. Because, uh. Back then, when you got signed to Drama, I was doing one night thing, all that shit for Drama. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I mixed and mastered all that shit for him. And I ain't know that. Yeah, so that's how we met, because I was working hand in hand with Drama. Okay. So every time they was signing new artists, I meet them, because I was working with They was in the studio with me. Okay. So that's how we met, nigga. I was working oh, with Drama. Okay, I forget, bro. It was so long ago. Yeah, yeah, I remember that shit. All right, so, like, as far as producing, who, who like, you ever produced for like any main rappers, uh, industry, Detroit? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I I I did beats for Ludacris. I did beats for uh, I did beats for shit. Man, this was so long, bro. I did beats for Young Dro. I did beats for. Ooh, I was on one of uh, one of uh, Young Jeezy uh, mixtapes. Uh, shout out to Onion made that happen. My nigga Onion made that happen. Uh, that's that's far as mainstream. That's about it. Okay. And uh, I engineered. I engineered for uh, 112 uh, for uh, RAL. Right, yeah, I got, I got some. I got some industry credits. So, like, what what made you get into producing? Like, what made you say I'm just I'm gonna start making beats? Uh. Cause the nigga out that was making my beats was was too slow. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna kill me when he see this shit. Too, Cause he gonna, I ain't gonna even say his name. Cause there's only one nigga. But yeah, he was too damn slow. And I'm like, man, if God willing, I give me some equipment, I'm gonna go hard. And that's and here I am, bro. Right, right, right. That nigga was working so slow and made me want to learn this shit. Cause I ain't know nothing about it. I was just rapping. And uh. I just, once I started making beats, I ain't gonna rap no more. Okay. Yeah. All right, so, um, like, far as coming up, did you have, like, anybody you looked up to, like, you wanted to, that, that you matched your crap after? Hell yeah, Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre, I used to, you know, I mean, I just like this sound, man, and, you know what I'm saying? The, the way it sound, bro, the warmth of it, you know what I'm saying? Right. How that yeah. shit hit. His pianos used to be Yeah, crazy, like, bro. yeah, I, I used to follow Dr. Dre as younger coming up. Right. He was my inspiration, but now, 
You know, I look, I like uh motherfucking uh what's that boy name? That did Nas album. Hmm. Kanye? No, uh damn what's that nigga name? Hit boy. He did Nas album? Yeah, him and Nas did the album. Hit oh, boy, man. Hit that's boy. That's what I did. They want the shit. Right? But a lot of shit y'all probably don't know. <laughs> he did. Hit boy, man. I'm really, you know what I'm saying? I, I really like Hit boy. And of course, Zay told me, you know what I'm saying? I done right. work, you know, I done work with Zay. But yeah, Zay, he cold. Yeah, Zay cold. Cash is just cold. Um, shit, them out of town niggas. Not as far as my niggas here. Right. You know what I'm saying? You, of course, my nigga, you a co-producer. For sure. I got DA, yeah. DA, my nigga, me and DA been, cook, me and DA been cooking up. Like, actually, last week, me and DA was in the studio. Just cooking tracks. Uh, uh, dub music, that's my nigga. Gino XO. Um, shit. Um, my nigga Kool-Aid, he another producer. Uh, yeah, it's a few few people that I, that I fuck with. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. So, um, have you like you produced like any whole full albums with anybody? Like, yeah, yeah, that's what actually that's what I've been doing lately. I've been doing whole EPs. Okay. And mm-hmm. uh, me and Ru did an EP. We working on one right now. Actually, I, I think we got like one more song to do, okay. and we done with that one. Me and Stretch just did a whole album called The Giant. I did, oh, you did that. I did the whole track. I did the whole. I produced the whole shit. Okay. And uh, mixed and mastered the whole shit. Me and Stretch Money. Okay. Uh, me and Gator, the singer Gator, we doing the album now. I got, I got uh, I did all the tracks on there. Okay. Um, else, mm. I'm working. I'm working out. Actually, real recently, I'm working out some shit with uh, City G. Okay. Yeah, City. You know, he got yeah, some artists. That one too. He got some artists uh, that he working with, some talent, especially his son too. So I'm working with okay. them uh, right now. Um, and of course him, you know, City, I gotta get some work with him. Right. And uh, Newt just did an album, I did some tracks on there. Newt just did an album, Newt yeah. ain't rapping how long? Yeah, it's been a minute. <laughs> right. Newt's Newt been, been doing the movies though, man. Shout yeah. out to Newt, man. Yeah, yeah, Detroit Dreams, man, cold, man. man. I got some music in there too. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I watched that. Actually, movie, the man. ending credits, Right. When the uh, when the end of credits come up, yeah. that song me and Rue did called "You Don't Know What I've Been Through." That's that's me and Rue. That's the song that's on the end of credits of the uh, movie. That's Rue. Yeah, that's Rue. I forgot we do that auto tune, man. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. If I had auto tune, Rue wouldn't be recording. With me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Rue, man, me and Rue, like Rue, Rue got something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why I hear yeah. more. I hear more everything I make. Nah, everything yeah. I make, I be like Rue. Just give me a hook. Man. Yeah, we was talking. He's like, man, you know what? Me and Getty, we we cook up together, man, and we mm-hmm. make magic. Yeah, so man. We, we have our disagreements, but after them disagreements, though, oh, man. fire. Yeah, <laughs> disagreements don't last number five seconds. But well, you know what? We got a song done. Yeah, that's what he said. Sage Sage album coming out. I don't know if you heard about Sage S A G E. Look him up. He got an album coming up. He uh, signed with a uh, with, with, uh, with Stretch on the Phillies Rebel. Okay. I'm doing his album well. His album about done. I don't think he's gonna release his shit. Check that one out though. Check that album out, my nigga. Okay. That, that's gonna be some shit. So far as labels, are you signed with anybody or are you just independent? Uh, independent. independent. Okay. Independent. Yep. Mm-hmm. Independent. So far as being a producer, you know we go through a lot, bro. Mm-hmm. So what's the craziest thing you done been through as a producer or heard as a producer? Mm. Shit. Niggas, nigga gave one nigga, one producer gave me track house, and it wasn't even his beat, and he had the nigga tag all in it, and he put his tag on top. <laughs> what? Yeah, 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 that was crazy. And That's I knew the nigga that he took the beat from. Oh. So you know I had to call. Like, wow. Man, is this your beat? That's crazy. And that nigga was like, he was like, I'm on my way, get it. That came crazy. over to the studio. That's crazy. For real, but yeah, that was the craziest shit. My man still was lying, talking about it was his beat. It was his beat he made. Wow. Yeah. That was so, the crazy shit. <laughs> so far as Getty himself, without being a producer, just a fan of music, who you listening to <laughs> right now? 
Right now? Yeah. Industry and then, you know, in the, from the city. Okay. Right now, I'm listening to, uh, damn, I got to I've been on some Busta Rhymes lately, bro. The new one. He got a new one? Yeah. See, I'm asleep. Oh, man. I'm asleep. Busta, man. He get me there, dog. Busta get me there. Uh, as far as local, that new, uh, that new Stretch Money album called The Giant. <laughs> I'm bumping that shit every day, nigga. Check that okay. shit out on Bandcamp. So, anybody that you want to produce for, you might produce for yet, as far as Detroit and uh -oh. mm. oh, damn. Beretta, Mr. Wrong, his album, I did his shit too. It's coming soon. I mean, I mean, I got names. I, I just gotta remember them. Uh, who I want to work with? Yeah. Um, Industry and you know from the city. I want to work with uh. I want to work with Sada, man. I feel like I got some shit for him. Yeah. I feel like I, I got some shit for Sada. I, for sure, for sure. I'm about to make that happen. He bring that energy too. Yeah, man. and I got some energy shit for him. So yeah, I'm I'm, I'm really digging for that. You know what I'm saying? Right. And as far as with the industry, I wanted to work with uh, I wanted to work with uh, man, it's hard, man. These young niggas, man, they all sound the same, bro. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's so wide. I listen to a lot of people. Like I like the I like uh, little baby. Like he cold to me. Now that little nigga is cold. Mm -hmm. But. On some real, never you wrong. Yeah, yeah, but on some real rap shit, I would love to fuck with uh, mm -mm. <laughs> I had to think about that one, dog, because there's so many niggas I want to work with. Most definitely Busta Rhymes, dog. For I sure. want to fuck with Busta, Griselda, uh, and shit. That's about it. A lot of other people, I just can't think of them right now. Right. I be want to work with so you know different genres too because I don't, I don't just do rap. Like I do a whole bunch of other different shit. So right. I might want to do something for a pop star or something like. Right. That. That's what kid doing. Right? Yeah, kid, yeah, yeah. Kid produce for a lot of yeah. Different see, kid diverse. He's a musician too. So right. He can he can tap into all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Remember that one song Kid had back in the day, Rolling to Your Wheels Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's when I first met Kid, man. <laughs> and Mr. Maps. And Mr. O'Farrell? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Heck, you know. With Al Newt and Mike Move, man. Oh, yeah? Yep. I, I was just seen Mike Move. I just seen Mike Move. Man, I was young, bro. When Move you know OG, man. man. True OG. Yeah. Mike Move was the first dude to put me on stage, man. For real? I never forget it, yep. Wow. Mike Move, man. That's my guy. He always been solid. Yeah, he yeah, he still Shout solid. Out to Mike Moon, you know? And Mike still working. He, I mean, he's still working. Like yeah. he still yeah, he got a studio. He still, you know, what's up? yeah, he still. Uh, Mike Mike Moon been in my crib. Hmm. Yep, he'd have been in my crib. The crib I'm in. Nah, he came over there with Al Newt when we did uh finished up the uh, last album. He came over there one day, mm -hmm. and I was like, damn, like okay, Moon, Moon right. found me. Seen Moon in a long time. Hell yeah. So yeah. say if a uh, if a label county right now with a producer deal, what would you do with the you know what's the first thing you doing? What 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 what? What's, what's your check? Like what you doing? Man, I don't even know if I want a check. <laughs> Just give me the deal. Keep the money. For real, I don't want no I don't want no bread. Nah, that's straight. the first. That's I'm the straight first. how I am now. I ain't wanting for shit, you know, and I ain't even rich, so I'm straight. Give me the back end money. Keep that bullshit in front. I don't want that in front. Give me the back end money. Give me the same money y'all give. Mm -hmm. That's what I want. That's the new one. Hell yeah, I don't want that upfront shit. Cause you gotta pay that shit back in interest. <laughs> that right. shit worse than child support, nigga. Right. Really. Right. So I, I I don't want the upfront money. I'd rather get signed, still stay living like I am to keep that mentality and just go hard. And you know, eventually I'll build myself up. But I don't want it for money. Make me feel like I done made it already. Really, that's when it start. Right. That's when the hard work start. Now, I've been doing this shit for 10, 15 years. And if I get signed, that's that's when it start for me. Right. All that all that shit in the past don't mean nothing. Right. You know, that was all 
that was all just sharpening my sword, getting ready for this day. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I don't want to get no fat ass, you know, not unless I'm with a big major, then you know they're gonna take care of me. But other than that, ah, keep that money. I get it. I don't want to owe y'all shit when it's time to break bread. Right. You feel me? So what? So far as the Detroit culture right now, what you think? You think we gonna hold it down? You Hell think? yeah. Man, Detroit spreading like the flu, dog. Like I, you know, I get around a little bit, man. Detroit, oh yeah, we don't wanna come up like a motherfucker, man. They, uh, the Bay Area is like making our beats. Huh? They trying to say the Bay Ooh, has man. something to do with our sound. No, the Bay just fuck with us, and they starting to, you know, it's bleeding over there. Right. So Detroit, man, when I go to Atlanta. Duh, right. niggas be like, I need some Detroit beats. Right. You feel me? I be sitting up and making Detroit beats. And when I'm at home, I don't even make Detroit beats. But if I, when I be leaving out of town, I be having to make Detroit beats. They don't be want to hear shit else. You from the D? Right. Let me hear that Detroit shit. Yeah. I'll be yeah. like, damn. I'm almost creative and shit now. Nah, like, they don't want to hear none of that. They want to hear that, that yeah, slap. And that's the next question, too. Look, like, did the city have any impact on how you make your beats? Like, did you want to not? Did the city make you not want to make Detroit type beats because everybody doing it or no know, man? You know, sound. you know what? That's just not my sound. Okay. It just it never been. You know, I you know I can make it, right. but if you know ask me, I like to see you know to come up. I like the the process that I come up with to make my shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But I can make it. You know I can make a lot of different type of beats, man. But that's just don't that don't come out of me like. Originally, I'll be on right. that, I'll be on that Getty 808 shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't be really on that Detroit shit, but I got some Detroit bangers out here. I'm Actually, sure I, you do, yeah, yeah. The, the, the beats I hear you make, man. Yeah. Like, I, I, the, the keys, I can't get on the keys like that. I try though. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But your keys, man. You and uh, DA, man. Your Yo. keys is crazy. Yeah, man. man. DA, man. Low key, man. Shit. DA my go-to. If I need keys that I know I can't do, <laughs> I call him over there. He come over and, you know, and right. he do what I need to do, dog. Like, really, that's my go-to. Right. Uh, his album that he coming out with now, actually, you know what I'm saying, DA coming out with an album now, he okay. produced all the songs on that but one. I produced one song on the, on, on the album, and that bitch, is, that bitch is nice, but I'm supposed to be mixing the whole album for him. Okay. Or just making sure everything is tight because the nigga can mix, too. But he just want me to he just want me to go through the whole album and make sure everything intact for him before he releases. So, right. you know, I'm, I'm, I'm I just feel privileged to do that for him, knowing he's so talented. You know what I'm saying? Right. So yeah, yeah, most definitely, me and Da, you know, been working like a month. I, I feel like you and Da, like this is is me knowing y'all forever, man. Mm -hmm. I think y'all slept on for most definitely in Detroit, bro. We is. You but that's all right, though. You know, y'all boys, man. Y'all don't produce. I know for a fact you and DA don't produce for a lot of people, mm -hmm. bro. Like yeah. the main people in, in, from the city, and yeah. y'all names still never get brought up. Yeah, man. Cause see, you know, niggas be trying to keep us a secret, man, because they just want to keep us to themselves, bro. Right. I ain't gonna even bullshit. <laughs> right. I just got into an argument with a dude. You know that that I've been producing for the past three years, and then I just found out he had a brother that do music. Found them, and he like, Kenny, I've been trying to get in touch with you for two years." So I'm like, and "His brother dealing with you." His brother already. don't even want to give me enough contact, so I go talk to him like, "Dog." So I can imagine how many other people you be talking, you know, like right. current to the side when they be trying to meet me. Like, think right. like I could be making a hell hell of a lot more money than right. you know what I'm saying. Right. But I, I, I mean, I guess that's. I guess I can't get mad at that. I, I can, but <laughs> right. you know what I'm saying? Like, what am I supposed to say? Right. Fuck you, nigga. For <laughs> like, I, I just, you know, hey, I don't know. We all have all our own roles. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I'm, I know I know for sure I'm an underdog. I know for sure I am. You know what I'm saying? But, mm -hmm. I mean, shit, like I said, I'm in the, me and DA in the waiting room waiting on our name to get called. Right. And I feel like we next to the line, so I get that's good enough for me to keep moving. <laughs> right. 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 You know what I'm saying? So I just look at it like that. Okay, so like far as the newer producers, you know what I'm saying, that's trying to produce for 
you know, uh, up and coming rappers or rappers who are y'all here established? What would you What would you tell them? Shit, give it to them. Stop. Don't worry about getting that them couple dollars, man. Don't worry about that. Give that shit out. Give that shit out. You know what I'm saying? Because what counts is if they use it and it's a hit. Then that's when you can really get, you know, can't nobody take that check away from you, dog. Right. Can't nobody take that away from you. It's okay to, to earn a living off doing it. Don't get me wrong. I mean, you know where we from. You know what I'm right. saying? You know how we used to do it. But at the same time, now that I look back on it, that ain't really do me no good. Right. You know what I'm saying? So now I just be telling niggas, instead of me going around, you know, begging for $100, $150, $200 per beat, I just find some cold niggas just feed their ass here. Here. Especially when they working and they putting shit out. Right. That's that's where, to find somebody that's on their shit like that, man, it's bigger than the money, the couple dollars that we make off this shit. Right. So I'd rather, you know, work with them. And, you know, me being an engineer, I still can still earn a living because I'm an engineer also. So. Right. But yeah, man, don't worry about them tools and fuels. Get out here. And a millionaire told me that. Hmm. A millionaire, nigga. Actually, Zay told him, like, yeah, get them motherfucking tracks away. Get them away. Because uh, when they hit, when they when it's a hit, you gonna get your money. Send them goons on, which is the lawyers. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, get that shit away, man. Give it away. Give it away. Especially when you work with now. If you work with some niggas, you know that's bullshit. We yeah, get a couple dollars. Right. But if you see somebody, you know some real talent, and they they sound good with your sound, mm-hmm. man, don't let nothing stop that. Go for it. Just see what's going to come out of it. For real. So it'll pay off. It'll pay off. That was well put, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So last question, man. You want to shout anybody out before we get up out of here? Shout out to Detroit, man. We coming up, my nigga. You feel me? That's all. <laughs> <laughs> shout That's out to so Detroit. Good. Shout out to everybody that I ever worked with. Uh, shit. That's about it, man. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you having me too, dog. No problem, man. So until next time, I'm gonna get you back, man. Yeah. Uh, season two, man. Getty 808, man. My man. You know what I'm saying? Producer. Right. Detroit. Yeah. Holla at y'all. We got.